Hi, and welcome back to JJ Sweet Reviews. So today I'm going to be reviewing habanero topoki, which is um, a noodle bowl I found at the grocery store. Uh, it was made in Seoul, Korea, and it's very spicy. So I want to see how how spicy it is. I tend to enjoy spicy food and have a pretty high tolerance for heat in foods. But I admit I am somewhat intimidated heading into this because of the of the cartoon on the front of this. You can see this uh, gentleman apparently is in some obvious distress because of the noodles. Um, we'll see if that's me in the next few minutes. Okay, so I'm ready to try it. Um, it's uh, it's very red in color. I don't know if you can see it. It's got these little glass noodles. The little fork that came with it is really hard to uh, use here, so I might get a regular one. Um, it's also got these puffy little things that remind me a bit of... Uh, I'm not sure what I would say that reminds me. It reminds me of the type of dough they use for um, Chinese food, like bao, pastries like that. Also reminds me a bit of just, you know, regular pasta, but you know, denser. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this and then get a regular fork, see how we manage. Mm. The flavor of the sauce is really good. The texture of the noodles is nice and al dente. It's hot. I'm gonna try some of these glass noodles with the sauce on it. It's really kind of almost like soup. A red spicy soup. It's kind of watery. It's not like, a, um, what's the name of that? Uh, it's like uh, made by Muruchan, but it's not the regular cup noodles. I'm trying to remember what it is. My wife sometimes gets it for me at the store. So. Mm. The name's escaping me right now, but it's more like um, coated with sauce rather than in a, a soup of sauce. This is this is a soup of sauce. Mm. I was thinking of yakisoba. This is not like yakisoba. These glass noodles are good, but they get stuck in your teeth. Well, my teeth anyway. Um, this isn't like yakisoba where it's just thinly coated with sauce. This is a soupy sauce. Here's another one of those dough type things. Rice cakes. It says it's a rice cake. Mm. So they had three um, types. This is, uh, the company is called Q-Taste, it looks like. They had three types of, of noodle cups that um, I saw at the grocery store. And this seemed to be the hottest one, so I thought I'll go for that one. It is quite good. It is pretty hot. It's not um, the hottest thing I've had by any means, but it's definitely... I'd say it's about a 7 on a scale from 1 to 10 of the hottest things I've had. This is around a 7. The flavors are good too. This isn't just straight up heat. It has a nice flavor as well. Very good. Kind of got some flavor of like chicken broth. Uh, it's kind of sweet as well. Just kind of has that cayenne, you know, hot taste from the habaneros. It's just good all around. I'm tearing up a little bit. I don't know if you can notice, but yeah, it is packing a punch.
trying to think what the hottest thing I've ever had is. Because I've eaten a lot of spicy food in my day. <coughs> yeah, you can feel that. Um, I would say probably there was one time I got this hot sauce at the grocery store that was especially hot. And I put it on some chips, you know, some nachos, and I started eating it. And uh, after just like getting maybe a third of the way through the nachos, I was just like, I'm not even enjoying this. This isn't, I'm not even enjoying this anymore. So I stopped eating it. It was just straight up pain. There wasn't even much flavor at all. Well, my mother sent me an article that said that two things that are really healthy for you that you can eat are vitamin D and uh, spicy foods like this. Apparently the spicy foods and the, like the compounds, which are over in my head because I'm no doctor and I'm no chemist, but that the compounds in the spicy foods can help prevent inflammation and help prevent heart disease, which uh, I think that's pretty cool. All right, so that's it for this dish. I did finish the entire thing. I drank the sauce as well. And uh, it, gets a, it gets a thumbs up from me. I'll wash this fork afterwards. Uh, so basically, the, the rice cakes were, were good. Um, the glass noodles were good. They were a little on the al dente side, but I kind of like al dente noodles anyway. I just wish there was more of the glass noodles. I was um, very slightly disappointed at the amount of noodles. I kind of was hoping for more. The sauce was delicious. It was more of a soup slash sauce thing going on very tasty drank it um it was spicy uh did did cry a little bit um it wasn't overwhelming but it was definitely uh something that you notice uh, so very tasty very good nice and spicy and hot it was just kind of at that range for me where i was enjoying the spiciness but i wasn't feeling you know miserable <laughs> By any means it was just about right i i would say the spice level like i said was about a seven out of ten but that isn't me saying that it wasn't as good as if it was higher i think that range from probably around i'd say around six out of ten to eight out of ten for me is just the kind of spiciness i like where it's hot and it's giving a bit of a kick but i'm also enjoying the food i'm not just trying to outlast the uh the dish you know and just get through it it's more like you know something you can actually enjoy in terms of the flavors, um, it was very tasty. Uh, it was a nice balance with the spiciness. It wasn't just one note. Uh, you could taste the chicken sort of broth flavor. You could taste the, the peppers flavor, you know, just this kind of the sweet flavor like you get in a lot of Asian sauces. Just good all around. Um, like I said, I wish there had been more noodles, but it was still tasty. I felt like it was a little bit of a small dish, you know. I think there could have been more more uh, essence to it, more carbs to it. Uh, so I'd, I'd probably give it overall as well as, you know, the spice levels, I'd also give the flavor level and just overall everything, uh, I'd probably give it about a seven out of 10. So this was good. Was it the best noodles I've had? No, but it was definitely, I'd say it was better than the average cup noodles, um, definitely better. Uh, was it the spiciest thing I've ever had? No, but I wasn't, you know, it was kind of fun to see how, how much is this going to affect me, how much is this going to hurt, you know, and it was, it was, you could feel it, but it wasn't anything overwhelming, which ended up being nice because I actually enjoyed my meal. Um, so anyway, that's my verdict. I enjoyed it. Nice talking to you, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later for more JJ's Food Reviews. Take care, everyone.